stars being tiny, the sun and the moon being tiny, and everything close to us. <laughs> wondering if you could ask a video about why the moon orbits the earth instead of the sun. Well, we've got an actually packed program for you this afternoon. We've got sailing from hailing, uh, we've got sledding from reading, shooting from tooting, and carting from <laughs> The moon and the sun are about the same size in the sky, which is why we get cool things like this. But that's just a coincidence. 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 Thanks to the fact that the sun is about 400 times farther away as the moon, and its diameter is about 400 times bigger. Get a little farther away, and the view is different. Still cool, though. I'm going to take a good look at this striking pair of Bristols. <laughs> Bristol cities. The sun is big. We could line up 109 Earths across its face, and it's 330,000 times as massive. In fact, the sun holds 99.8% of all the mass in the solar system. <laughs> But here's something weird, but here's something weird, but here's something weird, but here's something weird. If we plug the Earth, Moon, and Sun into the formula for Newton's law of gravitation, we find out that the Sun exerts twice the gravitational force on the Moon as the Earth does. This is Frida Dobbs with the Toddbridge Harriers, and don't she cause it's a lovely sight, is that not? And, and it's a good one, it's a good one, but here... So, does the Moon really orbit the Earth? Well, of course it does. We know this is true because we've measured the moon and the sun moving through the sky for hundreds of years, and we've also been up there. Comes Hamish Hallmark with the stunning academicals, and I think he's going to show them a thing or two today. I'm pretty sure of it, and uh, they seem to enjoy the audience there. Look. The fact that the sun exerts more gravitational force on the moon than the Earth does just doesn't matter here. Doesn't matter here. Doesn't matter here. Doesn't matter here. In the front row, getting a good view, <laughs> and around he goes. And he lets go and... <laughs> Around everything in space, planets, moons, stars, is a volume where the gravity of the thing in the middle beats out the gravity from something farther away. <laughs> Even if it is more massive, it's called the hill sphere. The hill sphere. The hill sphere. The hill sphere. Mad, 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 M A D, mad. Madre mia, qué pasa? The hill sphere around the Earth has a radius of about one and a half million kilometers, which is more than enough to fit the Moon's orbit. You know, you know what the, you, you know what you are. You're not mad. You are imbecile. 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 I am D E S Now move the moon farther away or move us both closer to the sun and we'd lose the moon. But that would be the least of our problems. No, it's not at best. It's not at best at all. No, no. The important thing is that inside the hill sphere, the Earth's gravity dominates and the sun pulls on the Earth and the moon together. It comes now. So really, the moon does orbit the sun. It just orbits the Earth more, 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 more. <laughs> but what does that orbit look like? If I asked you to sketch out the path the moon takes as it travels with Earth around the sun, you might imagine something like this. But you'd be wrong.
Imagine two cars racing around a circular track. One of the cars speeds up to pass the other, which is moving at a constant speed, then moves left and gets overtaken. It may seem like one's driving spirals around the other, but trace the paths and you get this. But the distance to the moon isn't much compared to the space between the Earth and the Sun. So during our gravitational dance, those bumps smooth out to a very familiar shape indeed. Stay curious. <laughs> what did the Earth say to the Sun when the moon was acting all full of itself? It's just a phase. You know what you are? No! <laughs> you are super color fragilistic <laughs> To find out how all these orbits combine to make lunar shapes from crescent to full to new, check out this video from our friend Phil Plate over at Crash Course Astronomy. The complete universe housed within the Earth. Does it seem possible? Does it seem strange? <laughs>